What's going on everybody? It's Coach Reg, aka Mr. Intensity, and my job is to invoke thought and help awaken the world's consciousness one person at a time. Hopefully that person is you. Now I know, <laughs> don't kill me. I know what got you here is the thumbnail and the title. Now, what is he talking about intermittent fasting? So first he said black shit doesn't work for me. Now he's saying intermittent fasting doesn't work for me. What is, what is this dude talking about? Well, let me explain what I'm talking about. First, please visit my website, intensityfitnessclub.com. Purchase any soap, lotion. We got a new stock and note of soap coming in on Friday. Stay tuned for that. We got some banging stuff. We got the rejuvenator with the black seed and the soap. So stay tuned for that. Go there, get some programs. But we're going to get into the topic today. Also, download the app. All right. Now, Intensity Fitness United app. Also, now check this. What I mean by intermittent fasting won't work for you is I mean that it won't work for you if you do it intermittently. And then, isn't that crazy? Intermittent fasting is not meant to be done intermittently. Okay, you're supposed to do it for longer periods of time. If people were doing it for four to five days and taking a weekend off, it will not work effectively for you. The reason why is because if you think about what you've done to your body, as I've stated before, you have destroyed your body for a period of time by putting unnatural things in a natural body. Now, the reason why a lot of people feel like intermittent fasting is hard for them is because they don't know they're not their body yet. The reason why I'm saying that is because you actually aren't your body. You're a spirit dwelling in an actual physical vessel that is very intelligent. Now you have two brains, two brains. If you think about the one thing that looks like your brain, it's what? The intestines. And the intestines is also a brain. And if you actually put filth in your brain, such as like TV, like say you say you watch TV, you watch bad movies, you read bad books, you listen to low frequency, 440 hertz music, right? You actually will have a trash brain. If you put McDonald's in your body, a Burger King, Wendy's, International House of Pulmonary, these IHOP into your body, stomach, brain, you actually have a trash body. And when you combine those, being that your body is the conduit to your mind, your whole mind will not be amplified. And if you do intermittent fasting for a short period of time, how are you gonna have a time for nothing to develop and everything to heal? Now, the body is actually meant to heal for longer extended periods of time, which is why they do fasting in all, damn near all religions, when it comes down to it. I want you to understand this. You cannot do intermittent fasting for a short period of time, whatsoever. Which is why every program that I have, I have been doing intermittent fasting for the entirety of the program because I understand the human body. I understand that we used to do fasting all the time. It just wasn't called fasting. It was a way of life. Now we actually do it for a short period of time or some of us don't even do it at all. And the fastest way to actually heal your body, increase your brain power, amplify your immunity from everything is the way through intermittent fasting for a longer period. I'm talking about doing six months to a year. I'm talking about lifetime intermittent fasting basically. And if you do not do lifetime intermittent fasting or long extended periods of times, you will never understand the benefits of intermittent fasting at all. Four days, three days off, it ain't going to work for you. Five days, two days off, it ain't going to work for you. You must do it for an extended 30 days to 45 days to actually feel a difference because your body adapts to the food that you're eating before, which is why you're craving cakes candies and sweets when you get off of them because you have trained your body that you want sugar, cakes, candies and sweets at all times. So your body's going to want them, expect them and actually crave for them. The problem is the way when you detox, you have to take yourself away from that. When you intermittent fast, you have to take yourself away from eating all the time because your body's used to eating. The average American diet says you got to eat five times a day of small meals to actually lose weight. That's a lie, okay? The fastest way to lose weight is through intermittent fasting. Now, even though through in short times intermittent fasting, you will actually lose some body fat because your body can't help but to burn off the only source of energy it has. Intermittent fasting, basically, the healing properties of intermittent fasting, the brain amplifying properties of intermittent fasting, and the muscle building properties of intermittent fasting, also body healing because all inflammation does lie in your stomach, and when your stomach is not healed, you will be dealing with some sort of inflammation. If you do not do it for a long period of time, your body will not have a chance to develop, adapt, or adapt, develop, and then heal, okay? Fast, adapt, develop, then heal, all right? Then rejuvenate. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen that way, you're always going to have some sort of issue. You're always gonna have some sort of problem. And it won't work for you if you do it that way. 
you have to shut the hell up to tell your inner self or your body that you're actually dwelling in to shut the hell up and actually give it what it actually really needs not what it wants you have to treat your body like a child you have to raise it up giving it what it needs so it can be the better version of itself not giving it what it wants because if you're like a child giving your body candy all day your child's teeth are going to fall out your child's going to get fat your child's going to be on some next level messed up if you let your kid listen to the bad stuff, the child's brain is going to be trash. Pineal gland fully decalcified. I mean, calcified. Understand this, okay? Just because you're in a car and your car needs gas does not mean you need gas. You are a spirit dwelling inside that body, which is why when you die, you leave that body and it's stiff. It has no more use. It has no user. So when you're actually having, you're, like you're driving a car and you're on E, right? You're on E. And, and you actually got to go to the store, the gas station. You're not drinking that fluid. Your car needs that fluid, all right? And after a period of time, your car's going to get filled up, filled up, filled up. Well, when your body gets hungry, that's your body being hungry. Your spirit is no longer hungry. So when you say you're going to try to do it, when you say you can't do it, your body, you're afraid of the body's reaction from doing it for a long period of time. You're actually afraid of the adapt, adapting process, all right? Your body will adapt. Your body's an adaptogen. It will adapt. Understand that. So it won't work for you if you do it for a short period of time. I'm sorry to tell you, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but stop bullshitting and do what your body's already meant to do because you'll never be the better version of yourself in that way unless you do it that way for longer periods of time. All right? Sorry to hurt your feelings, but it is what it is. It's the truth. I am an expert on intermittent fasting. I have done it every way. I have done it clean. I have done it dirty. I have done it short. I have done it long. I have done it every once in a while. I have done it every single way. And I'm telling you, the only way it's worked for me, as far as my brain power, body power, every physical power and spiritual power to connection to myself, is through long-term intermittent fasting. All right? So, besides that, this is Coach Reg, AKA Mr. Intensity. And my job is to invoke thought and help with the world's consciousness one person at a time. Hopefully that person is